What did you work on in the off week? You know, I think a lot of it was, uh, you know, trying to get fresh more than anything and, and uh, getting, hopefully getting some, some bodies back uh, was, was important for us. Obviously a big point of emphasis in that bye week. You know, when you're in seven straight weeks, getting banged around, I think that, uh, you know, if you can come out fresh and, and play it fast, you got, you got a chance, you know. And so uh, that's something obviously we worked on. And then uh, other than that, just like, hey, let's, let's, let's get better at like what we like the fundamentals of playing football again, you know what I'm saying? And, and it allows you to focus on that and slow that down. So, so I think it was really good for us. Like, like I said, especially from like a body standpoint, um, you know, we, there, obviously there's, there's injuries that are long term that you're not getting those guys back, but just the guys that um, everybody's banged up at, you know, when you play seven straight weeks. And so uh, letting those guys think coming out here and feel a little bit better will be big for us. With the, you know, second, third units, getting some reps, meaningful reps during that bye week, how beneficial is that where you might be counting on those guys at some point? For sure, yeah, that's huge for you. Um, <laughs> you know, the, hopefully you're, you're counting on those guys in, in a year or two, you know what I mean? But um, like you said, with injuries and, and just the, the reality of, of the game of football, like those are those are really really valuable reps because um, you may be having to like set, set, count on those guys later on this year, you know. And so uh, getting those guys reps, letting them feel like real speed instead of just like a look team speed or something um, is, is super valuable for for now, but also hopefully building for the future, you know. What does Nebraska do really well? Um, you know, I think they, they play hard. They're physical um, up front. You know, they got some some big bodies in there that that uh, that can create some can create some havoc. And so um, we're gonna have to do a great job of handling that. You know, and, and uh, it's been a long time since I've been in Nebraska. Last time I went, I was yeah, as, a, as a player. I think I was my freshman year. No, it was my yeah my redshirt freshman year. So I was I was the backup. But um, you know, obviously it's an incredible place to play. They got a they got a great fan base. Um, it's a cool place. Uh, with, with, with great fans and so uh, you know going there obviously when you go on the road and, and into an environment like that like you got to be prepared for it but uh, like I said excited about the opportunity to get there again and and, uh, and get a get a chance to go play again but like like I mentioned the big some of those guys up front can really do some good things they uh, cross the board they play really physical and, and uh, we're gonna be prepared for that and, and go try to match that to move forward Walters talked about growing up in Colorado and, and not liking Nebraska, just by association. Is it the same in Texas, I assume? Uh, probably not to the same degree, but... but uh, or Oklahoma or... Yeah, <laughs> I guess. But we, uh, you know, like, with all the conference uh, shuffling going on, but, you know, like, that was a, a Big 12 matchup for us back in the day, you know? And so um, we went there, I guess that would have been in 2005 and played there. And then uh, we played them again my senior year in 08 and uh, went had an overtime game with them, you know. So, you know, that was a uh, good team. And, and like I said, when growing up, uh, you know, the Nebraska teams, you remember those teams won national championship and stuff like that when, back in the day when I was a kid. So, you know, obviously a, a fun place or, you know, a fun team to watch back then and uh, with, with a ton of history. So, like I said, getting to go play there or getting to go when I was a – when I was a – Freshman getting to go up there and, and be a part of a game, and then getting to go back there, was, you know, we're excited about it. But uh, like I said, it's I remember him as a Big 12, you know, foe back in the day. How big was this off time for Hudson Card? I think it was huge. You know, it was just like the rest of them, when you when you play, like I said, seven games, and he's taking some hits, got banged up, and so just um, getting to feeling good again. You know what I mean? And, the other thing I think we got to let him catch up on a little bit of sleep too, which which goes a long way. So, uh, you know, not only for the kids, but or not only for the players, but for the coaches too. Got got to get some sleep a little bit more and, and uh, get on the road. So um, it came at a good time for us, I think. Um, and but for Hudson, no question, it was it was huge. Um, and so, you know, I think uh, I think he feels a whole lot better than he did probably two weeks ago. And. Uh, uh, we need to go play well to, down the stretch and, and uh, try to lead us to some victories. I know Iowa's defense is phenomenal, Ohio State's, but how do you get production against those better defenses that you, you come up against? Yeah. That's be where you struggle. Yeah, they, you know, they, they're doing a heck of a job. Uh, and, and, you know, if you look at Nebraska, they, they someone put a packet on my desk earlier. They've given up like 16 points in the last two weeks combined. So um, every week's a challenge. And uh, you got to, like I said, I think you got to prepare the right way. Uh, hopefully we go in there 
fresh, healthy, and, and uh, excited to be out there. If you do that, you give yourself a chance, you know. And so, um, but obviously, like each week, it seems like you're playing a really good defense, and, and we got to go execute and, and play at a high level and make plays. And I think that you know against Ohio State, that was something we really emphasized. Like, hey, in order to, to go score, you're gonna have to make contested plays, and we didn't make enough of them, you know. And so, uh, we're gonna have to do a good job of that this week. And, uh, and and most importantly, like I said, just like go do our job at a high level and execute. And if you do, like you'll give yourself a chance to score points. Perhaps the weirdest path ever to being a Big Ten lineman is uh, Ben Farrell. Started as a college golfer, went to an NAIA school, and ends up here as a, a grad transfer. What have you seen from him that he's playing meaningful snaps now? I know part of that is his injuries and, and depth, but uh, he's, he can produce for you out there. Yeah, it's a crazy story, isn't it? But um, now we're, we're fortunate to have him, that's for sure. You know, um, he said it's probably not the path that most take, and, and uh, but he's a big guy, he's athletic, and. Uh, and like I said, just go there and play hard, and that, that gives you a chance. And so, he, uh, yeah, we're really, we're really fortunate he's here, um, and, and excited about, you know, hopefully he's really excited about his opportunity and, and makes the most of it. Because like I said, he's got some ability, he's athletic, he's big, and, and, and knows what to do. And if you do those things well, I mean, if you do those things, you give yourself a chance. And now it just comes out to go out of there next year assignment. Um, obviously, like he gets thrown in there, and he's, I think last week was his first like where he, we played a ton. He's playing against Ohio State, you know what I mean? Like right out the gate. Um, you know, probably not how you draw it up, but a, but a cool first game to, to, to go get pretty much the whole game. And uh, now he's going to Nebraska and do the same thing. And so, um, like I said, we're fortunate he's here. Um, excited about his opportunity and, and uh, expecting to go play well. You see Marshawn Rice getting more playing time. He produced when he got opportunities against Ohio State. So. Yeah, he did a heck of a job. And, and like we talked about like the last few weeks, like we got to – do a nice job of, of uh, managing those reps with that, that especially at the receiver position and um, keeping guys fresh and getting guys in there. And so, um, he said he made the most of his opportunities the other day, and, and we're going to need to do it again uh, down the stretch here for these last five games.